What's up guys, if you want to buy altcoins, I told you a lot of times I should be a little careful, but if you feel like I want to buy altcoins anyway, then at least wait for this move to happen. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Welcome to the FOMO Factory, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notifications, smack that like button and let's dive right into it. So the thing is now that altcoins yesterday especially went up a little bit. And the problem is that people are immediately calling for an altcoin season. And that is exactly what gets you wrecked. So I immediately made a video about that. Like, yo, guys, watch out because that's yesterday's video. Check it out. Um, but yo, watch out. This is not altcoin season. It's, it's not. Uh, altcoin season will take a long time to happen. And... Um, Although, uh, I mean, you do not have to agree with me. I just want to give you the warning that it's not always what you think it's going to be. And I showed you a couple of charts why I think that. But let me show you uh, if you want to buy altcoins anyway, uh, because you do not want to miss out. How can you stay safe and not miss out at the same time? Because that's also a possibility. Because I know you cannot time the bottom. And I know the argument of people uh, is like, yeah, but, you know, uh, let's, for example, you want to buy Cardano or whatsoever, right? You want to buy Cardano. So if, if you look at this chart right here, yeah, you, you missed already 60% off the bottom, right? And um, But overall, it doesn't really matter, right? Because look at this last uh, run that we had where, you know, Cardano went from the bottom to the top. How much it did? How much it did? 160,000 percent, right? So you could say, of course, like, yeah, but if you miss the bottom on this right here for 60 percent, uh, we'll put it right here, give or take, right? So if 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 you traded that and you sold the top, you still made 120, 130 percent. What's there to complain about? And that's definitely true. So if you feel like um, I want to buy an altcoin that I really uh, see a bright future in and I, I just don't want to miss out on, then I can show you one thing that might help you a little bit on when you can buy it with some more guarantees and stay a little safer as well. Um, and just to make it clear, I, I dropped this video. This is not alt season yesterday. And uh, some people were uh, like, let me, let me show you this. Um, I got these kind of comments, right? Um, Lol, wasn't your last video how it's going to be in alt season? No one likes flip floppers. And someone else uh, as well, he said, I don't know where it is. But he, he said like, yeah, I'm unsubscribing because you don't know what you, you always all over the place. Um, and that's because of this video how to prepare for alt season but please guys if you watch my videos also watch the videos and don't just click the thumbnails okay because I'm saying in this video basically the same thing as I'm saying here um, what, I'm, what I'm basically saying is there will be an alt season definitely but not now it's not now uh, but it doesn't mean you can't already prepare for that, right? That, that's the thing. Uh, so please don't just go off of thumbnails uh, if you take advice from a YouTuber anyway, which you shouldn't do. But let me show you a chart that's quite interesting. Uh, and let me show you a couple of altcoins that I'm having my eyes on when the time is right, right? When the time is right. And it doesn't mean I'm not already dollar costing a little bit because I can be wrong. Um, but don't just blindly assume that there's now going to be an alt season and then you have a maybe a big two exposure and then you get wrecked and that's how that, that's not it's very easy to get wrecked in every type of market up down sideways doesn't matter um, let me take a look if this is already working by the way because I have a pretty interesting chart um, but this app is not working right now doesn't matter Eric Crown showed it and uh, I'm gonna just pull it up uh, right there because this is something you want to see what he showed is that we got a pretty bullish um, signal uh, for Bitcoin and the bullish signal is this I hope it shows correctly yeah so we have almost a silver cross on the five day uh, time frame that's this uh, green line and this yellow line, the 20 and I think the 50 moving average from the top of my head. We haven't seen that a long while. And he, he made up this sheet as well, uh, all the times it happened before. And 
you can clearly see not every single time that it happened was bullish like here we went down here we went into a major bull run uh, we went into the other major bull run before that as well where it happened right here we got a big ass bull run and now we have it again and we are basically sitting in you know the point of the market where we are getting close to a major bull run so is this a fake signal could be but I rather see a silver cross than a dead cross uh, at the end of the day so I'm pretty uh, happy with that uh, to say it like that but now when when to buy altcoins it's very simple look at the total three so i showed you sorry this is the wrong one but i showed you before right bitcoin was in its downtrend right here since the bear market started right perfect rejection and here we broke out retest broke out so that's what bitcoin did overall bitcoin from the moment it broke out it broke out by give or take 40 percent if you now look at the total crypto market so everything right also broke out but from the moment it broke out it broke out by 10 11 percent so that already shows that if you take bitcoin away then the gains are already less high so bitcoin is outperforming altcoins right here and that's also what you can see at this chart the total three which is, in my opinion, now the most important chart together with the Bitcoin dominance and Bitcoin. Why? Because the total three, as you can see, is in its same downtrend, but hasn't broke out yet. Right now, the problem is that people are calling now for an odd season, like I said in yesterday's video, because the Bitcoin dominance went down a little bit while Bitcoin was going quite sideways, which means that uh, altcoins are outperforming Bitcoin. And if Bitcoin doesn't go down, it means altcoins are going up. It's very simple. But is this move really to be called an alt season already? I don't know. I don't know. Like... I said, in my opinion, um, in June, we also had such a run, right? But here, Bitcoin was going up, right? Bitcoin is now sitting at major resistance at the $29,000, uh, $30,000 level. So I wonder if Bitcoin will go up this time. But even if it does, then we get a move like this that we had last June, right? Last year. And although a lot of altcoins did very well, is that to be called an alt season? It, de it depends on how you, you know, define alt season. Um, but in my opinion, this is an alt season, right? This is an alt season, this, this move right here. This is a very good altcoin run, definitely. But here the dominance went down 46% compared to what it did right here, 17%, right? So that's a big difference, of course. Now, it doesn't mean that we cannot see altcoins outperform Bitcoin uh, in the coming months, right? And I will talk shortly about this expectation that I have and how I'm going to trade it. But basically, if you feel like, yeah, pff, I don't want to gamble on that. I just want to buy altcoins. Then just look at this chart right here. So this is the total three. For the people that don't know, it's everything except Bitcoin and Ethereum. It's been in its downtrend as well. And in a falling wedge pattern which are usually bullish and break out to the upside so there's a higher chance that it eventually does something like this than this right doesn't mean that this can't happen right but you know overall the statistics point out to this but the question is is that going to happen now or is it going to happen here right now there are a couple of things for me to believe that it might not happen yet. Why? Um, well, first, you know, and there are also a couple of reasons why it could happen. But overall, usually altcoins follow Bitcoin, right? Altcoins follow Bitcoin. And Bitcoin already had its run. Now, um, again, to see altcoins go up more to break out, we have to see that the dominance either comes down hard while bitcoin keeps staying flat or that bitcoin will keep on running right now the last possibility it's not impossible of course i'm not saying that i mean crypto is crypto you don't know but if i just look at the chart where we have all this support right here all this support every time we wicked hard we got support at that exact same level. That says something about the strength of this level. And also in the deepest of the bear market, we had trouble breaking this uh, this level. Now we basically have our first attempt in this cycle to break it to the upside. 
so far it didn't work yet right so it can happen um, but it's more likely to me that we will retest a lower level of around 24 and a half 25k first so um, and overall if you just look at this 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 trend that altcoins are in right now um, you must not ever fight the trend right because the trend is not the trend for no reason we got a rejection here 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 right so why would you gamble your money on the fact that it's now going to break out so when can like because if it doesn't and if it gets rejected which is more likely to me then it basically means that nothing has changed and that we are still in this trend and what is the trend doing up down up down up down up down right so it is in my opinion 80% likely or even more that we just go down first again right and but just down and following the trend and doing nothing special and doing what it's been doing since two years basically right now um, is making a lower low on altcoins quite lower also right depends on where we go down uh, it could also happen here but it's somewhere between 30 and and, and 40 percent down now you must remember that this also includes stable coins so these if everything goes well don't go down 40 percent so the average i calculated once if this goes down one percent then the average altcoin goes down one and a half percent give or take so if this goes down like 30 percent it means your altcoins on average go down 45 percent right the high caps may be less the low caps may be more but it means that there are actually altcoins right now that can still dump 60 percent from me and it sounds because we have seen a couple of green uh, days and weeks well uh, months basically in the market it sounds unbelievable but you know here we went up as well on altcoins from january uh, till April so a couple of months as well 36% on the total three right what did we do here 36% exactly the same right before we had a big ass crash like really enormous crash right here we basically did the same we went up for way longer even and then we just made a new low again now we went up stayed there for a while so it's not different so far right until we see a break of trend um it's not different so therefore my answer to yo when should i buy altcoins if i were you let me put it like this how i would do it is either not, well not buy right now because if you buy right now you buy at the resistance we are basically we're sitting right at the resistance right it depends a little bit on how i draw my line but we are not far from that we are max like one two percent from the resistance and we could have a fake out above it and you can make a real short-term uh, profit on that but for investing why would you buy at major resistance it's like buying here here or here right so either wait for it to come down and then buy then you have a way better entry you have more than two times as much coins so let's say you can make a 20x from this point at the top of the bull run if you wait a little bit you can also make a 40x that's basically what you do and you don't have to suffer these short-term losses in the meantime which is also fine or you can wait for it to really break out right retest buy the retest and then go up right because even then you're buying basically at the same level right maybe even lower depends on when it retests because this line is going down so you can even buy lower or at least at the same level as where we are right now but at least not with the risk that this this major trend line is resistance but support by then so this is an easy play in my opinion right you can buy at the same level if you want but then when that level is support instead of resistance it's a lot more guarantees that you won't get wrecked and there are no guarantees of course but it's a lot more certainty that you won't get wrecked right that that's it's it's sorry but it's pretty 
easy uh, if I look at it like this, right? And you, you, um, you know, you don't want to buy it right away as soon as it breaks out because then you get something like this maybe, right? Then, then, you, then you look at this pump right here. This is the daily chart, okay? So then you get a pump of one day. You buy right here. You think like, oh, it's broken out, and we go back down again, and uh, then you are already in a loss, right? So also that's not what you want. Really wait for it to break out. Let it hover for a while. Retest, then buy. Um, and there are no guarantees of anything, but it's usually not the case that we break out and go straight up, right? That's usually not how it works. You can see that with Bitcoin as well. Once Bitcoin uh, decided like, okay, I had enough of this. Uh, it's time for me uh, to break out. What did Bitcoin do basically? Well, Bitcoin broke out. Uh, here we go. Broke out, right? That's not necessarily what you want to buy right away. You want to wait for it. Here you have the retest. You can even, like I said, buy lower than the breakout, than the resistance. So you buy the support at a lower level and then off you go, right? And even with Bitcoin, we had a second retest. So it was even a better entry, right? So still dollar cost, even if it breaks out. But I'm not saying that the altcoin market will do exactly the same as this, but these are, this is usually how these patterns uh, play out. Let me take a sip of my coffee and let me show you a couple of altcoins as well. But that's how I would play it. Um, definite, I hope this goes without saying, but this is not financial advice. And I'm not saying what to do because I don't know it all. I'm just a guy with a camera, but I can recharge a little bit, right? And if I look at this chart of Bitcoin, uh, then... You know, this was a quite this 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 was you know this play was quite easy basically, right? And for altcoins, it's not any different. But we are just altcoins are just lagging right now, right? Now, um, how am I going to play uh, the dominance for the people that have missed that? Because I think this is a pretty easy play as well. And you know, um, it, it, well, easy is maybe the wrong word. Because you can look at charts and trade off of that, but eventually supports and resistances are there to be broken. Um, so it's going well until it doesn't. That's basically what it does. But, you know, if you would have traded the Bitcoin dominance, you know, since basically May 21, right? The bear market started here. Doesn't really matter. You know how much money you could have made or how much Bitcoin you could have made right here. It's very easy. The Bitcoin dominance uh, is in this range between 39 and 49, give or take, right? It means here, this point is where altcoins are strong against Bitcoin. But here, when it goes up, it means Bitcoin is outperforming altcoins. So how you could have traded this and how you can still trade this and how I'm going to trade this, I'm doing a trading challenge for this, is simple. You just trade altcoins for bitcoin you accumulate more bitcoin right because at the end of the day we all know that bitcoin is safe and it will make you money right so what you can do and what i'm doing right now since the dominance is sitting quite high in this range and again i think that the dominance will go way higher than where it is right now but maybe just not yet so how you can trade this is basically you have your altcoins right here maybe i don't know here you put your altcoins into Bitcoin, right? Because when the Bitcoin dominance is going up, it means Bitcoin is outperforming altcoins. So uh, these altcoins are worth less against your Bitcoin, right? So your Bitcoin is worth more against your altcoins. Once we are here, you can put your Bitcoin into altcoins, right? And you ride the wave down, you do the same thing again and again and again and again. Now, that's how I'm going to trade this. This is not... Um, any type of guru stuff but my prediction and what how i'm going to trade this is this i expect that the dominance will break to the upside right because the dominance is just sitting at quite low levels as you can see right now especially if we put it off lock you can see it a little bit more in perspective the dominance is sitting in this range down below right here it will never get back here right here was the bitcoin dominance almost 100 percent there are too many good altcoins in the market right now we will never get there but will we get here here and maybe even here i think so so we 
you know, when do we get there? Well, the Bitcoin dominance usually shoots up in a Bitcoin bull market, right? Now, the Bitcoin bull market, in my prediction, starts around two months after the halving. So that's around June. Yeah, May, June next year, right? That's when I think Bitcoin is starting to go parabolic. So that's also when I think the Bitcoin dominance is starting to go parabolic. I might, you know, this is really speculative. So I will be wrong about the exact moves, right? So please don't pin me to this. But without a plan, you can't do anything. So this is my plan. So if that's the case, then I feel like, okay, how much time do we still have between now and then? Well, that was this right here, right? So then I calculated, okay, how much time do we, is usually between every one of these peaks right here, this and this and this one and this one and also the bottom, right? Well, then the drawing will be kind of like this, right? So in my opinion, we could still go down once, up once, down once and then break out so now i'm turning a part of my bitcoin a part into altcoins right here i did it at uh, well the higher 47 percent uh, somewhere like that when we get down which could take a couple of months i'm gonna put these altcoins into bitcoin again so i have a lot more bitcoin and then when we go up i do the same thing again the other way around then again and here I will prepare that I have a lot of Bitcoin and I will be careful with altcoins because there I think altcoins will get completely destroyed against Bitcoin. Doesn't mean that they get destroyed against their uh, uh, dollar pair because if Bitcoin here goes to 100k for example and the dominance shoots up, yeah, then your altcoins are worth less against Bitcoin. But if Bitcoin is worth more against the dollar, then there's a high chance that your altcoins will be worth more against the dollar as well. But this is my... Bitcoin accumulating uh, strategy. So I'm doing a challenge about this. Um, with every move I make, I'll update it with a video. You can also follow my DBank account where you can see what kind of trades I make. Uh, link down below. So check it out. It's all unchained. So full transparency. Um, but that's how I'm going to play this to accumulate more Bitcoin. Now, when it comes to buying, you know, altcoins with my dollars, like I said, therefore, I just look at the total three. Um, and not necessarily... Uh, too much to uh, the individual altcoins, right? Because there are always altcoins that pop. There are always altcoins that do terrible. Overall, that, that you know, I want to get the complete picture. I want to have a bag of altcoins, a bag of good altcoins, right? If you want to do this with one specific altcoin, okay, look at that chart, right? But I want to do it with a bag of altcoins. And overall, the altcoin market is going down. It's just going down. So, um, with that being said, a couple of projects that I have my eyes on is um, one is this one. This just came out, um, but I'm not buying it right now. It's Miria. Miria has been worked on for a long while already, and this is a super interesting project. Um, but it's it's quite high cap already, so you can compare this maybe a little bit to Gala, uh, to Volker Forge, but it's a L2 uh, as well. This project, it has been worked on for so long. Uh, I was waiting on it for more than half a year already. It just got listed on maxi by the time you watch the video it also got listed on kucoin but the price is um quite high uh to be honest i can show you and therefore i'm not buying it right now i wanted to buy it at lunch uh but i think i will get wrecked if i do that why do i say that i say that because of this but this is a really long-term project, uh, in my opinion, that can do very well, very well. But this is the price right now, uh, 0.009. So let's say 0.01, right? 0.01. Problem is there are 50, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 50 billion tokens fully diluted, right? So the uh, fully diluted market cap is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 500 million 
No, I'm not buying something with a 500 million fully diluted market cap. The the, 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 initial, the circulating market cap is like 15 million or something like that. So big difference right there. But I like the project. I don't just don't like the price, uh, really, to be honest. So that's the first project that I have in my eyes on. Next project that's new in my portfolio, by the way is this one it's kind of high risk high reward but i like it a lot this is impulse x and impulse x is a really interesting uh project i reviewed this on my other channel um definitely go check it out they were releasing uh initially on pulse chain but they figured like okay pulse chain is taking quite a while already so uh they already released they have a lot of good partnerships here as well i really like this project they have a strong team they are very transparent they have good tokenomics um, they help uh, with uh, the, the journey of Elon Musk uh, the gaming it, uh, everything that I like and it's super low cap it's extremely micro cap. Like I said, it is high risk, high reward though. Uh, why do I say that? Well, it's super micro cap, right? And the project, it, 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 it's not that old. It's quite new, one year for now. Um, if you look at the market cap, the market cap has been going up. The price has been going down though. And that's because there were a lot of tokens getting invested. But now that that's you know massively out of the way. I'm quite interested in this project as well. Um, another piece of good news, Dalysium. I was expecting them to do an announcement on their token listing yesterday. Um, fortunately, that didn't happen yet, but I get it. They want to get the best timing, and that's just crypto, man. You expect something, and then it takes some extra time. You feel like, ah, disappointing, and, and all of that, but it's worth waiting on it uh, at least in my opinion but i expect the announcement any moment uh, basically now a lot of decent exchanges for dalysium though so get your dalysium note if you don't have it already because i, I think it's definitely worth it now altcoins look the total three is coming down uh, at the moment of recording right now Oh yeah, and, and, and there is one thing that makes me more bullish on this chart, by the way, because we have, for example, uh, the, the bull market support band, which is this, this green and this red line, right? And we are on uh, above the bull market support band right now, right? So that's uh, at least good. And we are above the 50 weekly moving average. So we have, a look. well, are we above? Yeah, the daily we're also above. So we have a couple of moving averages that work in our benefit right here. Um, but yeah, then again, it doesn't mean we cannot break to the downside uh, as well. Um, but a couple of altcoins, especially my gaming portfolio. Cedify is doing quite good. Cedify is doing quite well. Uh, it has these weird wicks lately, though. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, we struggle with the 110 and whatever, and all of a sudden it got a wick all the way to 140 and back down. And this night we had a wick to 130 and all the way back down. But Cedify, I would love to see it close. You know, these wicks make, make it a little hard to read. Um, but 120 is, you know, give or take the area that we will have a lot of resistance. And yeah, if we include these wicks, also 124. So I'm going to put it right there, though. I want to see C the five close above 124. Uh, that will be really bullish. They uh, just had a pre-sale. I'm going to update you on that, on how my launchpad challenge is going as well, if that's actually worth it. But that, it, C the five is showing some strength right here. Still in the uptrend. Uh, so that's good. A lot of people complain about C the five not really moving. But overall, if you look at this, it is moving up. Um, Illuvium, you know, this can go. Illuvium is... is, is, is uh, yeah, I won't look at these charts individually too much, though. Um, a lot of coins have pumped lately, right? They have pumped. They're far from their low. But that can also, like you see, right? Uh, Illuvium, for example, $37 went all the way up to 107 right? And it's now basically slow bleeding already to 60 Right, so almost lost half of his price uh, right there. And it's not in that big wick or big candle. It's like every day a little bit. Uh, so you won't notice that you are really getting wrecked if you buy at the wrong time. Volker Forged accumulation phase, in my opinion, still. Um, Volker Forged is one of the projects that has been actually showing how an accumulation phase looks like, especially if you put it off lock. And look at it like this. 
Look at this chart, right? Beautiful, beautiful. So that's looking uh, quite good. Um, Gala, Gala, uh, yeah. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't rush into anything, uh, to be honest. I would look more at the total three. I think altcoins can bleed hard still. Um, and again, it's understandable because look where a lot of coins came from. Gala is still up 160% from its bottom, right? And I said that altcoins can 60% bleed. Well, if it goes down 60%, where would it go? Back to the bottom, right? So how unlikely is that? Well, it's happened not too long ago already right so why can't it happen again so be a little careful at least um but this is how i look at altcoins right now so if you like the content please like the content uh like the video subscribe to the channel turn on that bell notification and i'll see you. all right make sure to join our telegram group and sign up to buy bit deposit at least a hundred dollars trade a little bit you can win an iphone 14 challenge uh, the giveaway is going on for this month still so you still have a full month don't miss it out. Free iPhone 14. Love it. All right. Take care.